Hey, hi everyone. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining our Loading Life Unboxing Show. Uh, what I have here with me, uh, what, what we're reviewing today, is the Polygon Cisco series. And here, as uh, most of you may know, I have the Cisco T series. I have the T7 on my left and the T8 on my right. These are two of the popular bikes in the Cisco range, as you may have known them. But today is a little bit different because today we will not be covering the Cisco T series, but we'll be covering a new edition, the new Cisco D5 and the new Cisco D7, which fills up the entry level range of the Polygon full suspension mountain bikes in the Cisco series. Yeah, my, my colleague today with my colleague reporting live from Golden East Coast. He will just bring the camera around to let you have a closer look of the Cisco D. Uh, T7 and also the T8. Yeah, so let's bring it down, Imran. Okay. So, this is T7 2021. Nice, yes, yes, very nice. Now this is the T8 2021 model. Come with the Fox suspension. Yep, you get a Fox Rhythm 32, and that's a. This is actually 7.5, so that's 150 mm of travel. And if you're wondering, the Cisco T7 is retailing at 2499. Uh, well, the T8 is retailing at 3099. Okay. Uh, okay, be before I introduce you to the new models, let me take these bikes away. So, if you guys got any question, just ask about the pricing, about stock. Just ask us, so we will update you. So, new color coming. There you go. Ready, guys? Okay, here you go. Tend to put this on. Nice, right? New color. So this guys, this is the new Cisco D7 D5. Little has changed about the D5, but it's, it now sports a new color. So it comes now with a, in a in a matte finish. Previously it was a glossy maroonish kind of red, so now it's a matte finish red. It's a it's a nice combination of red black and a little bit of grey here parts are specifically the same and on the D5 it sports a, a, a rather flat handlebar uh, do take note this is an entry level this is actually the entry level model for the CSQ series so you're looking at the D5 entry level model so it sports a flat handlebar and on the front uh, but before we go into the suspension the D5 is only available in the 27.5 inch uh, wheel size and it sports a SR Sun Tour. SR Sun Tour is 120 mm of travel. And as this is a basic, uh, uh, basic entry level model, so this is a basic suspension with reload adjust. You've got the lockout function on the front suspension that helps to lock out the front fork. As this is an entry level model, so there's no rebound adjust. It's a coil spring with a reload adjustment. So it's a basic suspension. And on the rear, it's a SR Santa Radon. This is the air suspension. This is where air goes into the rear shock. So it's you can you can actually fine-tune the compression setting for this according to your body weight. So that's the compression lever. So what this does is that 
this does the, this is, yep, this is working. Then when you, are, when you push the lever to the right, it locks up the rear suspension. So you get the lockup on the, the lockup on the front and the rear suspension. And components is running on the Elevio, Shimano Elevio 9 speed. So you got the Elevio shifters. And because it's an entry level model, so it has the gear indicators. Yep. So you got the gear indicators, so it's two in front. The setup is a two in front, a two by nine setup. Most of the parts are Shimano Elevio, you get Shimano Elevio front derailleur, that's a double, and a Shimano Elevio RD, then this is a Shadow RD, which has a, has a lower profile, so the RD sits a little bit in, protect the derailleur in case you have a fall. And then on the nice tires, you got the Maxxis Alden 27.5 by 2.25, this is nice tires with a maximum pressure of 65 psi. And this bike, this is an entry level bike which is suitable for all sorts of riding. Not necessarily it's a, it's a full suspension bike, it has to be an off-road bike. This is also suitable for like urban riding, for park connectors. And if you want to get into the sport, you, want, you just want to start off with something that's, that's uh, inexpensive and also something that's, uh, that's uh, usable for urban and park connector use. So this is a model to look at. As compared to, as compared to the previous model, little has changed. So it's got a new color. Parts are basically the same. You get the 2x9 Shimano Elevio which is similar as the one on the previous model and with the Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. There's always a misconception that hydraulic disc brakes, they, are, they, they cost more to maintain and like they have a lot of issues but that's not true because hydraulic disc brakes, they're actually maintenance free. It's basically use and forget as compared to cable disc brakes where you have to fine tune the brakes every now and then because you're expecting a cable stretch that you have to you know, often get it adjusted and with the hydraulic disc brakes it offers better braking performance yep so that's our CQ D5 and so somebody oh, asking about the pricing yeah and for all of you may be asking I'll be holding the price up to the end of the show <laughs> After we go through the Cisco D5 and the Cisco D7 to get you a little bit excited <laughs> about the price. So just wait until the end of the live guys yeah. for the pricing. So the D5 is nice it's, and the, when you look at the cables, the cables advance internally into the frame. So it has a, it's very neat and very slick. You don't, see the, you don't see any cables on the outside because the brakes, the shifter cables, they are all internally routed. Similarly, like the previous model, the CQ D5 doesn't have a doesn't have a dropper post. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that you 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 can't have one. You can actually install the dropper post later on because it has the cable routing. This is the Gromi Wait, for the that's the cable routing for the dropper post, and the seat post size is a thirty point nine, so it's easy to find. Or to source by an aftermarket dropper post. So the dropper post we run inter internally also. Yeah. So there's there's room for upgrades on this bike. And it, and the wheels, wheels are quick release. For both front and back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a it, it's a beginner friendly bike, so it's quick release. So if you wanna you know put this inside a car and you want to take the, the front, you can actually do so because you don't need a bike rack, you can take the front wheel off then you can fit the, the bike in the rear passenger seat Okay, so I go through the So let's, uh, the bike. let's have Imran to go through the bike then we can have a closer look on the Cisco D5 So basically this one, the colour is matte red so Handphone C is like looks like orange, but actually it's red. Huh? It's matte red, and it's grey, grey black. So they're giving the Arden Maxis. 
Alivio group set Alivio FD It's a metal pedal Shimano brake Alivio shifter front and back So technically for the group set is same like the previous D5 Okay Yeah, Shah Saleh. Yeah, next one will be D7. Just wait. <laughs> okay. So this is the front view, the side view. I just show you. Okay, ready for D7. So next one will be D7. <laughs> Oops! Hey! Okay. okay! We've got the D7 here. Can yeah. you put it on the stand? Take this helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a stand for this D7. So, this is the new this D7. Is, uh, Okay. Okay, nice striking color. So bright. So, so this is it guys. This is this is a CISQ D7. Uh, we, are look, we are looking at it. This is a, the latest model with the new color. So now the D7 it spots a, a matte light green with a combination of black Okay, so the D7, as we have them side by side, we have the CISQ D5 and the D7. So the D7 sports a visor handlebar with a little bit of black switch. And let's go through the, the specs of the D7. On the D7, you have the, S, the RockShox Recon, and this is an air suspension. So that's where, and so instead of the preload, this is the this is the air chamber. This is where you pump air into the suspension, and you will set it up accordingly to your body weight. And on the on the on the suspension, there's actually a there's actually a chart here which shows you how much air to put inside uh, versus your body weight. So this has the has the lockout function, the compression adjust. So with the compression set fully off, suspension works. Then when you Turn the dial, it locks up the front suspension. And on the workshop switch on it has the rebound adjust. So on the on the right fork leg, at the bottom of it, this is where the you have the rebound adjust. There are six different settings for the rebound adjust. And as you can see here, yeah. So this is an indication of like okay, basically basically when you turn it to the to the tortoise, it slows down the rebound and this is to to, to make it faster is a rabbit. bit. Yeah. So what happens when you adjust the rebound? Let's put it to the fastest. So now when the suspension compresses, when it returns, it returns in the faster rate. So now I'm going to set it to the extreme slowest, where the rebound is significantly slower. And normally we set it in the center in between so it's just nice it's not too fast and not too slow so you get you get similar brakes on the Cisco D7 you get the Shimano hydraulic disc brakes but with a better front suspension the RockShox Air the Recon Air with the lockout and the rebound function and on the rear we have the RockShox Deluxe so the difference is that on the D5, we've seen the Santo Radon, which has the which is basically an entry-level suspension. 
just with uh, with the air chamber and the compression but on the RockShox Deluxe you have the rebound adjust this red color dial here is to adjust the rebound and there's a total of 13 clicks on this so there's 13 different rebound settings and that's the compression lever for the lockout and there's also on the on the rear travel or the or the rear extension there's also these markings here so if you are if you really want to like set your your riding sack so there's, a, there's, there's these lines here which helps to aid you in the setting of your rear suspension. Yeah. Comfortably, you, might, you may want to set it for like bit, about 25% if you are doing off-road ride. Yeah. And maybe for a more aggressive rider, you can set it up to 30% of rider sack. And you have to take into consideration when you're, when you're setting the rider sack, you have, to, you have to ensure that when you do it, you, you are... You're on the bike with all your equipment and the things that you carry with you to have a more accurate uh, setting. And let's go to the components. So on the the D5 and the D7, it sports the same frame where the cables are internally routed. It's the same exact frame. And on the heat tube, is that on both of them is the tapered heat tube. So tapered heat tube it gives you the opportunity to upgrade to a to a better front suspension later on. Because a lot of the modern day, the better front suspension, the steering are tapered. So if you have a bike and if it's not tapered, it's a straight head tube, there's no chance for you to upgrade yeah, to a much better front suspension fork. So this gives you the opportunity to upgrade to a better front suspension fork. Although on the D7, I can say that this is pretty decent, the RockShox Recon. And the components you're getting, this is the Shimano Dior. You have the Shimano Dior shifters as we can see here. This is Dior Shimano Dior 11 speed. And Shimano Dior cranks too. On the D7, it's a, it's a single chain link, it's a 1x setup. So this is 1x11. Components are min mainly Shimano Dior, so you have Shimano Dior cranks, you have the Shimano Dior RD, and this is the one with the clutch. So you get the clutch on this. So what happens with the clutch is that when the clutch is off, this is the off position, the cage is able to, the springs on the cage is allowed to move. So this, this will make a, so the shifting will be lighter when the clutch is off, but when the clutch is on, this is for more aggressive riding, it prevents the cage from, from bouncing. Yeah. So when do you need the clutch to be on is when you are doing off-road riding, when the trail is quite pretty technical, and the terrain is quite bumpy and you don't want and when you have the clutch on it reduces the chance of having the chain to derail from the front chain ring and when you're doing that sort of jumps and things like that yeah so the components is the Shimano Dior 1x11 setup you have the lock shocks front and rear suspension and you have the dropper pole so So the lever here on the left, this operates a dropper post, as you can see. So on the, on the fly, when you're on the bike, you can actually adjust the height of the dropper. Yeah. So this allows you to, to adjust the height of the bike while you're on the ride. And what we are looking at here, the D7, this is the bike that gives you the option for the wheel size, so you may have the 27.5 and it's also available in the 29 and which we see here, this is a 29 inch medium, medium size. So this fits a rider height of between 1.68 to about 1.74 and I'm, on, I'm 1.71 so this fits me nicely. And this is a decent bike. If you are, if you want to, if you want to get into the sport, you want to do a little bit of off-road cycling, but you don't necessarily need, need a full-blown off-road bike like the Cisco T series. You're looking for something that's that's inexpensive, that's decent enough to get into the sport, and something that you can enjoy the off-road trails, and at the same time, uh, do urban rides, go on the park connectors with family and friends. This is the bike to look out for. And I know a lot of you are waiting for me to, to say like what's the, okay, 
<laughs> so after all that, what's the price? Come on, tell us okay. the price. Okay, before that we go through the question first. Is it a carbon frame? Okay, this is for both the Cisco D5 and the D7. It is an alloy frame. As this is as they are both the entry level model, so you get an alloy frame. If an alloy is safe. And I'm sure all of you are excited to know like okay, what's the price? <laughs> okay, nothing much nothing much has changed. The price is still the same. For the Cisco D5, this is retailing at $11.99. Eleven ninety nine. Yes, and the D seven. This is retailing at one triple nine. So a lot of people be asking like, okay, that's like one thousand two, and this is like two thousand dollars. Okay, what's the eight hundred dollars you're paying for? So eight hundred dollars is that you're getting a better front suspension, yeah. which is the air, uh, the Rockshox Recon Air with the rebound adjust. You're getting a better rear suspension, also with rebound adjust, which is the Rockshox uh, Deluxe. And on top of that, you're getting a a dropper post that comes with the bike and also the components Shimano Dior is two models up from Shimano Ali, uh, is one model up from Shimano Alivio and you're getting the Alivio 9 speed there mm -hmm. but this has the Shimano Dior 11 speed and this is a one by setup so you get so for $800 you get a uh, better front and rear suspension you get a dropper post that comes with it. You get a better set of components, which is the Shimano Dior. So this makes a perfect entry level bike if you are looking looking forward to doing some off-road bikes. But at the same time, you don't want something that's that's uh, that's too full blown out. That you don't you don't want something that's too you know that's something that's too much. Something just to get you into the sport. I would suggest to actually look at the CSQ D7, as this is a great entry level bike. And this and this bike, this bike will will be it will be made available for free order soon. So watch out for our, for our postings for our posting on Facebook and also on Instagram to to get an update on when they will be available for free orders. And before we end the, before we end the show, we will we will be going through the bikes again so that you guys can have a closer look on both the Cisco D5 and the Cisco D7. Okay, let's take it from Imran. Okay guys, this one is the new D7 2022 model color. So basically the spec is all the same like this year model. The only difference is just the colors. So this one is matte green, striking green actually. It's by, by phone is really striking <laughs> because of the lights. But actually the light is, the color is really nice. Some some viewers say this one is look like T7, clone of T7 color. <laughs> looks like looks like, but not as striking as T7 or the green. Yeah, and if you're wondering, the on the on the rear, this is a this is a 12 mm two XO. Mm -hmm. It is a boost. It is a one four eight. Yeah, so this is 12 by one four eight boost, and on but on the front. This is a standard. This is a hundred and fifteen by hundred. Mm -hmm. A standard through XO. So on the D7 instead of the quick release, you're getting the front and rear through XO. Yes. 9 mm. 9 mm. Okay. So for this one they're giving the Shobe tire, no binic, front and back. What size is this one? 225. 225, two, two, yes. Okay, I think that's all for today. Any last word, Najib? Okay, so do 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 catch up catch up on us for the latest update on when they will be available for pre orders. So, otherwise, price, prices for both bikes it remains the same. And if you're looking for just a full suspension bike. You can you can consider the entry level Cisco D5, but if you want to do like off road trails, and you want a bike that's you know that's not overly too expensive, something just to get you into the sport, but you want to have that uh, decent build quality, decent set of components, decent suspension, and with uh, parts that ensure you reliability, 
go for the 6QD7, which has the better front and rear suspension, the two axle front and rear hubs, also with the with the better set of components and the dropper post. So this is the bike. This is it, guys. This is the 6QD7. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the the bikes. Yeah. So so far only this what we receive from our management to reveal these two first guys. Yeah. This T series hold on first. <laughs> yeah. I, I know you guys are excited for, for us to review the 6 T series, but hopefully we'll we'll have it on our next uh, the next the next episode of our series of uh, Golden Links Live Unboxing Show. And with that I would like to thank all of you for watching us. We hope you enjoyed the the series of shows. And we'll see you again on the next show. Thank you. Bye-bye.